Hello my friends! Hi everybody! Welcome to my channel. I'm so excited for today's video. It's actually a refill because the first time I filmed it, I had mascara all under my eyes and I didn't even realize. So, if you're new here, my name is Janie. I do videos on all things cute, whether that's Squishmallow, Squishables, Builder Bear, Lounge Sanrio, Hot Topic. Anything that I think is cute is going up on this channel because it just makes me happy. It brings a little bit of joy during a time of darkness in this economy. So, we're talking about Jelly Cat today, which is a brand that I honestly was not super familiar with I have one jelly cap prior to what I'm showing you today and it's a watermelon with little feet and I never even did a video about it because I didn't even think anyone I didn't even know like jelly cats actual like fan base and the fact that a lot of people collect jelly cats and I now I follow a lot of creators on Instagram that are so talented and so cute and they show their amazing collections and it's like oh my gosh I want all that stuff too now so I went to FEO shorts for my birthday with my friend who works there um, shout out to Sebastian and I am very grateful we went because he told me there's a jelly cat diner and when he said that picture kind of like a cafeteria or something silly something not cute but when I pulled up to when we pulled up to FEO shorts it was absolutely adorable they had it, the branding was just amazing the setup it looks like you're really ordering food and then the workers were like flipping burgers and stuff I made a reel about it so I will put some of that footage here and I will link my Instagram down below because if you follow me on Instagram then you already see all of this it was a super fun experience basically you can either choose a hamburger granted i went september 3rd right and I, I saw on their instagram that they're doing a hard launch on the 22nd i don't know how that differs if it's just like you know pr people and like influencers coming and stuff to like to film it all but when i went on september 3rd you can order a burger a taco pizza or a hot dog and basically they package it up for you and they personalize it so they'll take your name you'll write it in a book and then they print it out with like a print label and they put it on the food and it looks like they packaged like a cold cut sandwich for you so i'm going to include footage of what mine looked like because i already opened it opened it when i was filming this video initially but it is so cute i ended up choosing the taco and the associate needs a raise because she was packaging it up so cute and it's just a whole experience it was so much fun it's almost like going to build a bear you know you go to build a bear you do the bear ceremony like the heart ceremony and it adds to the experience so i love a good moment of you know heartfelt cuteness involving plushies so first i'm going to show you two of the other jelly cats that i picked up while i was there because they had the whole section themed with a bunch of their amuse little plushies so like the food themed plushies so i picked up two along with the taco so i picked up what i'm assuming to be a deviled egg because it has devil horns on it and this is this is so cute jelly cats are expensive like i just don't think there's any other way of saying it but how cute and it does sit up and this will make a good thumbnail it's the cutest thing like i really love it it's super soft i love the feet this was 15 dollars for a tiny plushie it was 15 dollars. but honestly this feels like such a collector's item that in my head like i justify it i'm like this is a collector's item like what are you talking about of course it's gonna be 15 dollars. the next one i picked up i also really like it is a slice of chocolate cake or maybe cherry because there's a cherry on top but it has a smile on it I don't know if you can see it right there super cute super fun like this would look so nicely decorated like on a platter somewhere you know what I'm saying like this this is just like on a tiered platter cake platter it's so adorable again 15 bucks so I picked these up and then what I'm gonna show you next which was actually part of the jelly cat diner and this was given to me as a gift by my friend thank you so much honestly one of the best gifts of my life one of the best moments of my life it was amazing here's the tote bag from jelly cat uh which came with the purchase of the thing we have a sheet of stickers so it features the pizza that i was talking about the hamburger there's a pretzel there's popcorn there's hot dogs there's the little logo for the jelly cat diner there's a sticker for feo shorts i had to put that in there and the jelly cat like the actual jelly cat the black cat so this is adorable this came with it it also came with an enamel pin corresponding to whatever one you chose so i chose the taco and look at it it is so cute it's amazing i really like it so you get three items three items and here is what the actual food item looked like so like i said i chose the taco you can see it on the back of the box so cute it's right there and then when you opened it it was beautifully packaged let me show you the video let me show you the picture because like i said i already opened this already <laughs> but it is just the funnest thing like there's something about it's, it's such a simple little thing because it's just a sticker that says your name on it but when you see it get packaged and stuff i think it just adds to the experience like i said it it was a lot of fun very similar to the build a bear heart ceremony and i'm happy i'm a happy camper and i honestly i want to go back because 
I want that dragon. I see it all over Instagram. There's like a sleeping dragon. There's various sizes. But for some reason, of course, the most expensive one is what draws me in. It's $110. It's a lot. That's a lot. But I really want it. I think it would just look so good on my bed. And I think Jelly Cat is like the one plushie where I feel like it's soft enough that it makes me want to cuddle with them. Because if I'm being honest with you, this is almost like a shameful thing for me to admit. I very rarely cuddle with my stuffed animals. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a sensory issue or what, but to me, it's just not that comfortable. But jelly cats are so soft that I feel like I would be so down for it. Like, I'd be so ready. It would look, it would be so, like, such a good moment for that particular one, the most expensive one. So I might go back in October or November for that and get it then because it's so cute. Or I could order it online. But I think the experience of taking it home will be fun, too. Like, being on the subway with my little baby, who knows? Who knows?